Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming a Q&A video for you guys. I asked you all on Instagram some questions that you'd like to ask me, so I'm just going to be answering those in this video. What does love mean to you? Love, love means like a lot to me. I find that I can attach love not just to specific people in my life, I can attach love to almost everything and I can feel that love being given back to me in a way. Um, I'm a hopeless romantic, I'd say like I fall in love with a lot of little things about earth and about being alive and all that. I believe that love isn't one thing that's reserved just for like your significant other. I believe that love can be found in almost anything on earth. I sound like a hippie. I am a hippie. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Purposes for this year. Um, this year I'm taking a year off education just to kind of figure myself out. So I'm just taking this year to have six months of working to save up some money and then six months of free time or travel. I'm also going to be more into obviously my social media presence and hopefully I can work on my photography a little bit so I can, you know, keep working on this and you never know, maybe this might end up in a career. That's the, that would be like a good thing to happen, but at the moment I'm just not sure if it's realistic or not. What's your favourite vegan meal? I'm not sure if this counts as a meal, but I absolutely love chocolate pudding. There's this one recipe that, it's from a blog called It Doesn't Taste Like Chicken. What do you hope to achieve this year? As I mentioned earlier, I hope that I can achieve um, a higher level in my photography. I want to improve my French as well because at the moment it's just going downhill, like not having lessons every week, it just keeps getting worse and worse, which is so sad. Do you have sex? If so, do you use vegan condoms? I do have sex, fun fact, um, but I didn't even know condoms couldn't be vegan, so I'm going to be looking into that, to be honest, because I don't want animal bits in my vagina. What do you love most about the area that you live in? So I obviously live in Perth and in terms of Perth I love that it's really a kind of relaxed kind of vibe. There's really not much to do in Perth which makes it sort of like everyone's in the same boat or doing the same thing. In terms of the like suburb that I live in I love that it's really peaceful here. Any idea what you're going to do for uni? This is a bit of a weird weird subject for me because I got accepted into UWA for conservation biology as a part of a Bachelor of Science. But I've decided that I want to do translation studies instead and then I might not even get into that and it's just, it's a pain in my ass. So, do you have any music recommendations? If you give me a minute, I'll get up my list on my phone. I keep um, a list of all my favourite music and stuff and all my favourite TV shows on my phone because I get asked about it a lot. So here's some of my favourite music. I like Jimi Hendrix, The Who, The Beatles. Velvet Underground, Led Zeppelin, Fleetwood Mac, and The Kinks, and I also like Tame Impala, Sticky Fingers, Skeggs, Ocean Alley, DMAs, Matt Corby, Bootleg Rascal, The Babe Rainbow, King Gizzard, and Walls of Wizard, and I also really freaking love Tasha Sultana, I don't know what it is, her voice is just angelic. Do you think your perception of love is influenced by your parents' relationship growing up? I think everything about your personality and about yourself is influenced by the way you were raised. I think that we're all like moulded and shaped differently and every experience that we have when we're younger shapes who we are in the future. Being vegan, do you take any supplements to stay healthy? I don't take any supplements, I get everything that I need from my diet except I'm looking to go on some sort of B12 supplement. Do you have any reading recommendations and what is the best book you've read recently? Yes I do. I've been trying to get more into reading recently because I do love it but I just haven't had the time this whole year pretty much because all I've been reading is textbooks. Um, but yeah, my all time favourite book which I would recommend to all of you is The Book Thief. It is so good, so beautifully written, everything is just amazing. And Milk and Honey as well is really, really good. I got that for my friend Lauren for her birthday. And the last recommendation that I have is what I'm reading at the moment. It's this book by Pamela DeBar and it's called I'm With The Band and it's pretty much about this gal who was a groupie when she was younger and all her crazy adventures she had. I think it's beautiful and I think it's really amazing how open she is about her sexuality and about her experiences with that. Oh, here's... <laughs> this is a really good question actually. What's the biggest struggle you've faced in your life so far? 
Um, sorry to be putting this out on the internet and putting it all on you, but the biggest struggle that I've faced in my life, I would say, is being able to get over and to, I guess, recover after my, my experience with sexual assault when I was seven years old. That kind of tormented me throughout my entire life until recently, and it's just been an absolute nightmare to try and recover from that. Even sometimes, like there's still times where it affects me really badly and I get bad anxiety or I wake up from a nightmare and it's just, in a way, I've found some strength within me to sort of get over that myself and to actually allow getting over that to make me a stronger person. Who inspired you to be who you are today? So many people. So, so many people. I believe that every single person in my life has influenced me in a certain way, like either either in a bad way, in a good way, like everyone that I run into, every single encounter that I have with another human influences me as a, influences me as a person and I can really see that happening. So I'd say at the moment, like Lauren, has, someone that's really influenced me positively, like she has taught me a lot of patience and how to be caring, I guess. My friend Grace, I don't talk to her as much as I'd love to, but she has influenced me a lot. She was the one who was sort of like, go vegan, you know? <laughs> like, um, and my parents, obviously. What's your favorite TV show at the moment? Some of my favorites are Game of Thrones, Orphan Black, That 70s Show, Pewdie Blues, The Mighty Boosh. And recently, actually, I've started watching a show called Black Mirror. It's the most in-depth thing, like, it's crazy, but I think my all-time favourite TV show is actually a documentary series. I'm sure most of you would have heard of it before. It is the one and only Planet Earth by David Attenborough. I could watch it forever. What is a personal hobby slash interest you enjoy that you've never really told anyone about? I tell everyone about my hobbies. I guess one thing that I don't really talk about as much is that I love taking nude photos of myself. I've told people about that, but like, I just think it's so much fun. I also love obviously painting and writing as well, which is something I've just started sharing actually. I never really shared it before. What made you go vegan? And if you ever crave non-vegan food, what do you do? I've made a whole video on why I went vegan, but as a brief summary, like I watched a few documentaries, my friend Grace told me about veganism and like how it's better for you and there's always been that like side of me that just loved animals and I just ended up feeling guilty and I was like, no, nah, fuck it, going vegan. And I have craved non-vegan food a very, very limited number of times and when I have craved non-vegan food, it's always been like a vegan alternative for that, if you get what I mean. So I'll just like go and buy some fake meat or something and eat that instead. Where are some nice places to go in Perth and surrounds? I live here, but I feel like it's pretty boring. Well, you're not wrong. It is pretty boring. There's not a lot to do. Anyway, like if you go on Perth is okay, the Instagram page, there's so many things that you can do in the Perth area that you can visit, you know, and they're really pretty. When did you start being vegan? It's almost two years ago now. When was it my first kiss? My first kiss, like, I was pretty late developer with everything. Like, I don't know, like my first kiss was in year 10. Um, so I was, what, 15, 16? What advice would you give to your 13 year old self? I'd tell myself to stop caring what people think and to stop changing who I am to impress other people. Being pretty isn't the only thing that matters and that you don't need to try and conform to everyone else's expectations of yourself. How many kids do you want and what names would you like to use? Um, I don't actually want kids. I don't know why. I just have no desire to have children of my own, like I wouldn't mind adopting or anything, but I just don't want to give birth. How do I want to be remembered? I'd hope to be remembered as someone who is kind to everyone and who was always fun to hang around. I hope, I hope, you never know. Favourite books and movies? I've already talked about my favourite books, but my favourite movies are Blue Lagoon, Almost Famous, Dazed and Confused, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, Amelie, so good. Um, I also really like Girl Interrupted as well and Moonrise Kingdom. Do you have any advice on achieving self-love? Um, it takes a lot of time, a lot of time to learn to love yourself and to let go of any sort of negative feelings you have about yourself. 
obviously every single person has a time where they don't 100% like themselves. That's human. That's human to do that. But in terms of loving yourself majority of the time, um, I found things that really helped me were writing down positive affirmations, telling myself nice things in the mirror. Sounds a little weird, but you know, it's helped. Um, accepting other people's compliments, not being like brushing it off and being like, oh no, they're lying. Like, if you if you know that they're being true, then that's something that really helped me. And also writing down the best thing about every day has helped me a lot and I still do that. Where did you learn to speak French and do you have any tips for beginners? I learned to speak French in high school so I started when I was like 13 or something and then didn't really learn much until I was around 16. My tips for French beginners would be to immerse yourself in the language as much as you possibly can. That means watching lots of French movies, reading French literature because I found that immersion was definitely the most effective method for me. So that's all the questions that I received in the hour that I had the post up. I hope that you all enjoyed the video and that you're all having a lovely day. I will see you guys next time.